Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so glad to be bringing you God's truth today. Now remember, our prayer and fasting starts today and we're fasting for seven days from today to next week, Tuesday. Join us, give us a call, send us a message if you want to be part of this um, fasting and prayer. And then we'll tell you our meeting time and, and we'll probably share the link of our meeting with you praise god now sometimes uh, we're being careful um, publicizing the meetings themselves because sometimes the spirit of god brings some sensitive issues and sometimes we call names when we pray and, and decrease certain decrease that's uh, we prefer them to be private for now see so that's why you know, we have said, oh, join us, we'll share the link. But except the Spirit of God gives us the release to share the link. And then, of course, you can join from anywhere. But there will, we will be having meetings and there will be links. So if you want to join, you just um, let us know uh, that you're interested. And then we'll share those links with you. Praise God. But we're, we're going to be meeting every evening for these seven days. So prayer is going to be going on every day and then other instructions the spirit of god will give to us will give during the prayer meeting not on the broadcast praise god so let's pray father we bless you your wisdom is unveiled to us thank you for our nation you have blessed already and now we are coming into the blessing that you have blessed us with so with full assurance lord we walk by faith with you today. And we welcome the new season of our nation. It's a glorious one. Jesus is going to reign over Nigeria. Yeah, hallelujah. Jesus will reign over Nigeria. And from this nation, light will yet go out to the ends of the earth says the spirit of the living god oh many will come to this nation and begin to ask how did you do it <laughs> and from this nation many theories will be destroyed many theories will be shattered because the things that they feel will never work will begin to work in our nation. <laughs> For it is not by mind, it is not by power, it's by the Spirit of God. For a witness shall arise from Nigeria, and it shall become a symbol to the whole world. And all men shall see, and many shall be drawn to the Lord by our nation for they shall see the work that the lord is going to do in nigeria and it shall amaze everybody for it shall fail every test that they have put for us oh this nation is an amazing one this nation is the secret that god has kept back <laughs> like and now the season of her revealing has come therefore arise O nigeria and fulfill the dream, fulfill the purpose of the Lord. Arise, O Nigeria, and be who God have made you to be. For I see new angels all over this nation, taking up new assignments and directing the hearts of men in the right direction. I see a work of God being done in every nook and cranny of our nation, from the north to the south to the east, to the west a work is being done and men are flowing in unto the purpose of the lord oh shall a nation be born in one day <laughs> oh i hear the spirit of god say watch watch and see for i birth a new nation in you and my people shall carry on the vision and it shall go round the world Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise and we welcome this, Lord. In 
Jesus name. Amen. Praise God. Woo! Wow. <laughs> I love what I see. Shoot, oh, Jiki Macrondo Fukunde Gigi Gagasi. I love what I see. Do you see what I see? Praise God. Whoa. Mm. Where were we? Okay, okay. First John chapter 4. Huh. This is the spirit that you should believe. Praise God. Yeah, because because this is the spirit of God. He's speaking of his blessing. He's speaking of what he has done. Praise God. And we are walking right into it. To the glory of God. This is the best time to be a Nigerian. I'm telling you the truth. There's no running anywhere. Rather, the world will run to us. Oh, you will see. You will see. You, Because I believe God. Now, what I have heard is true, and he will perform that which he has spoken. Thank you, Jesus. All right, then. Hmm. We are in verse... Oh, thank you, Jesus. We are in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 2. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh is not of God. So the spirit that doesn't acknowledge, doesn't agree, doesn't confess that Jesus is coming in the flesh is not of God. That spirit is not of God. See, now... What's the thing come in the flesh does not come in the flesh. I told you this yesterday. Acknowledging, confessing means acknowledging. Confession, confessing is agreeing, seeing the same way that Jesus is coming in the flesh. What did he come in the flesh to do? Everything he came to do in the flesh. That's what he's saying. He's done, he's done everything for us. So every spirit that's telling us, as do, speaking to you as though Jesus did not do those things is not of God. Praise God. Then he says, Hallelujah. And he says, And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. The spirit of the Antichrist is already in the world. Did you see that? He's not coming. He's already in the world. We talked about this last week extensively. The spirit of the Antichrist is already in the world. See? Now verse 4. Now this is the point. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Hallelujah. He didn't say you will overcome them. He says you have overcome them. Now, I just, you know, while I was praying, you know, just now, the Spirit of God just began to give words of prophecy. Now, listen, listen, there are other prophecies that have come forth, you know, telling you how there's going to be war in Nigeria, how a judgment is coming on Nigeria, and who and who is not going to be spared. You know, now, what, what do they do? They create fear and panic in your heart. And then they say, oh, the church is backsliding. Yeah, 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 you know, all those kind of things. Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. Such now, when you hear those prophecies and you begin to say, Oh, what do we do? What do we do? You know, you know, such people are speaking a lie. So he didn't say you will overcome them, he said, You are of God, so you belong to God, and you have overcome them. So all those prophecies telling you. Oh, some people are planning to attack you. Some people are planning to... Listen, let me tell you this truth. I pray you'll understand this. Nobody can outsmart God in planning. And don't ever imagine when people are planning against you, your God is sleeping. Oh, you know, you see, ah, there, are, there are people, oh, I just came out from it. You know, you, you be careful. Oh, 
all those broadcasts people send to you i just came out from a meeting and some people are planning to do this to hijack to they shall surely gather but not by me said god so why are you scared of their gathering why are you afraid that people had a meeting are people not free to hold meetings are you not holding meetings the problem is not in their gathering the problem is not by in their taking counsel the problem is always in the execution of their counsel now that's where we rise up let me tell you this when israel was with the philistines were being were planning to surround israel they did all their plans they, they came with their strategy Israel didn't know what to do. Goliath, they said, oh, this is how we're going to fight this battle. We're not going to be doing fight, fight. No, we'll send a champion. Goliath, we have prepared him for many years. So he's going to rise up. And anybody, we know nobody can conquer him in Israel. We know, we know how long we have been, we have been planning this thing. So if they cannot conquer us, that's it, we'll take over them. And they felt their plan was watertight. But what they didn't know, that God had already started planning someone in David. The Philistines didn't put that factor in place because they didn't know. They didn't plan on how to eliminate Jesus. They planned it. But hey, guess what? Their plans fitted into God's plan. That's why I always tell you this. In every plan and purpose of God, Satan has a role to play. And we must let him fulfill his role. So when you hear people are gathering against you, don't go and start panicking, running helter-skelter. Go back to the Lord and say, Lord, I just said there was a gathering. What's your plan? Because he has a plan. He has a plan. That gathering may have even been by him. You know, I, mean, I want you to understand that. See, when I mean by him, I don't mean he, his wisdom is behind the gathering. You know, I'm, I'm, as in, it's for him. I'm just saying, him like, let them gather and decide this. See, sometimes God sends Satan on an errand. Oh, don't you know? He does. He does. But guess what this Bible says? If you are one like me who loves God, who keeps his word, then it says all things work together for our good. <laughs> Praise God. Yes, their gathering will be for our good. Their plans will be for our good. The, the, the thought of executing their plan will be for our good. Say, so, but what if they come and they kill us? Who, who told you? You see, now this is, this is where we build ourselves. We build ourselves to stay in faith. We build ourselves to withstand. The things we see physically may scare us. But the spirit that is in us have overcome them. <laughs> Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. I'm telling you the truth. That's why we don't cower in the face of danger. But rather, what do we do? We know what to do. Listen, if you are in God, bro, you know what David, Daniel said? For the people who know their God shall be strong and they will do exploits. What's the key word there? Know your God. So I ask you, do you know your God? If you are there struggling, I don't know what to do. I don't know what plans to pick. Someone say plan B, plan A. Hey, come on there. Come on there. Do you know your God? What is he saying to you? Is the Lord telling you to do a plan B? Say, no, just common sense. Okay, common sense have killed a lot of people when it comes to things like this. Before you apply your common sense, make sure you have heard from the Lord. It is what the Lord says that will now influence your common sense. You don't use your common sense against what God has said. The time is up. But I pray you, you, you understand these things. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.